All right, Houston, it's a girl. Which ears it go in? This one? All right, good job. You ready, little goat? So what's up, guys? We are back with another video. And before we get started, go down there, subscribe. And also, after you re hit the red subscribe button, there's a gray button that is a bell. So go click that and also smash this like button. Can we get this to 200,000 likes? Really? You think we can get this video to 200,000 likes? Actually, 8,000. <laughs> I don't think you know what you're talking about today. So what are we going to do? I mean, it's like nice out here. What are we going to do? Um, so today we... Y'all y'all probably don't like to see this, but probably don't want to hear this, but we're already ear tagging the goats. Ear tags. Yeah. <laughs> so clearly Houston is not excited about ear tagging these baby goats. Now typically what we do when we have baby goats, just the day they're born, I'll come in with an ear tag. And it's no different. Everybody kinda I, I get I get some people grumbling about why in the world we want to put an ear tag in these goats. Well, it's no different than my daughter who had earrings when she was six months old. Um, it's an earring. So we're gonna ear tag the baby goats because it helps us keep track of everybody. That way we know which mamas belong to which babies and, and who had what and then we can track them uh, when people get ready to buy them and things like that. We know what's what. So we're gonna ear tag the goats and uh, it's literally 75 degrees today here in Oklahoma. It's gorgeous outside, isn't it? Yeah. This guy wants to go fishing. Yeah. I don't know if we'll get any fishing done on camera or not. We tried to go fishing the other day and uh, somebody got bored real fast. Who was that? Matt and me. No, I think it was you. You got bored real fast. So, we're gonna get to work, probably get some chores knocked out. I don't know what all we're gonna do on this video. But we'll figure something out. But before we get too far into this, today's video is sponsored by Harry's. So I'm gonna cut over back in the house, explain what Harry's is, and tell you all about that. So being in law enforcement for almost 14 years now means I have to shave every single day before work. And I hate it. I hate it. You guys know, if you've seen, when I'm off work, if I take off for a week or two weeks, boom grow a full beard. I mean, I can grow a beard in like five days. It's down to here. Just kidding. Not really. But I hate shaving. I hate it. I hate it. I've always hated it. And I've got this really sensitive, soft skin on my face. So I can't use the cheap disposable razors. I've always bought the, the expensive ones. I like they're expensive. It's, it costs a lot of money to shave. So in steps, Harry's. So six years ago, two guys named Jeff and Andy decided they go out, raise a bunch of money, buy a factory in Germany, and make some really high quality razors. Simple process, right? Well, that's where Harry's came from. Now Harry's sent me their starter pack, so let's see what all that includes. So what comes in the bag if you get the starter kit? Well, first off, you get a very high quality weighted handle, a bottle of Harry's shave gel, with aloe and a little convenient cover case to go over your razor when you travel it's gonna be hard to see on camera but there's five blades in that razor i can't use those little cheap one and two blade razors they just they just don't work on my face now refills start at only $2, which is a great price for quality German engineered sharp razor blades. And Harry's gives back too, so 1% of every sale goes to support great causes like men's mental health. And uh, after 14 years of working in law enforcement, uh, it's just, that's kind of a big deal. I mean, there's a lot of uh, mental health issues and things. So companies that give back and support mental health and other projects are, uh, are good to work with. Perfect. Ah, ain't nothing wrong with that other than uh, just missing one thing here. Ah, that's much better, ain't it? So since we've partnered with Harry's for this video, they have agreed to help you guys out and set a great price on this starter kit. Everything you need. It's normally $13, but if you go to harrys.com arms or hit the link in the description box down below, 
you'll get it for three bucks. If nothing else, go buy you one for your travel kit, then you've got a whole set just for your travels. Oh, everybody's waiting on us. Let's go. Out of the way. Out of the way. Any new babies? I don't why, why, why haven't you had babies yet, Mama? Your belly's getting big. There's a little squabble down there. What? A little squabble down there. They were, we're not getting along. Where's all the babies at today? Is there any under here? None under there. Most of them are probably laying out in the sun somewhere. Oh, you found a whole pile of them. Found four. Two twins. Right. <laughs> their butt up. Okay, you gonna start ear tagging them first? Do you want me to just video you doing it? Yeah. No, I don't think so. You see them moving it? Yeah, I saw that. I saw it move. It's like a turtle sliding around, wouldn't it? Yeah. So before we get into ear tagging, uh, I figured we might as well show you what we got. So I just, I ran out of ear tags the other day. So I got on Amazon, literally within a couple minutes, bought a hundred ear tags and had them shipped here in like two days. Now, I, everybody's, I've had several people asking what brand of ear tags we use and all that. I don't get too, too technical on brands. She's pooping. Lambert. She's just trying to poop on my boot down here. So it takes a set of ear tagging pliers. I'll explain. Let me grab a, the first ear tag out of here first. Same. So these ear tags come in two pieces. You've got a back piece and a front piece and it just sandwiches in the ear like that. All you do, we're gonna put the bottom side or the back side on there and then it falls off. Holds the front side a little better. So there's our numbered side and then the back goes on there just like that and then we're just gonna hey. yeah yeah we're gonna no. put this on the baby's ear and squeeze down pinch it on there so i'm gonna have houston grab the babies and i'm gonna go ahead and do the ear tagging um so one thing we do just for record keeping i may i've made jokes about this in the past and and i'll go ahead and do it again since i feel obligated but i always try to keep my ear tags uh, matched up with males and females. So this doesn't apply to goats that were bought and weren't raised on our farm, but all the ones that were born here, I put the ear tags on the boy's ear on the right and the girls on the left. Because I can't put the girls on the right because I just can't admit that the girls are always right. So the girls always get an ear tag on their left ear, the boys on their right ear. That way when I'm separating goats or looking for certain goats, I know which ones are boys, which ones are girls. Girls on the left, boys on the right, right? Yep. Are you going to be able to stand up? I can get this goat. Okay. Yeah. Ooh! I don't know if they can see that on camera or not, but Skip's a bully. All right, turn its head so we can see it on the camera, okay? All right. So, let me show them. One thing on a goat's ear you want to try to make sure. Keep it on the camera is there's a vein that runs right down the middle of their ear so you just need to kind of feel around and avoid that vein but other than that it's pretty simple oh you know she's gonna go crazy he, he is <laughs> hey chill bro it's all right i can't see you on the camera though you don't need to <laughs> you ready houston <laughs> it's all right, buddy. Skip, get away. All done. Hey. What's the matter? Hey, guess what? You're more worried about that baby than the baby is about the ear tag. You know how I know? How? Watch. This, look, look, look. this baby. Look at the alpaca. Hang look at the alpaca. It was rolling around. Oh. Because that baby's already gone back to mom to nurse. It ain't bothering that baby. <laughs> really? Ready? No. 
Look at there. One ear ring in place. All done. Little horn. Little horn. Yep. All right, little baby, you ready? Oh. <laughs> Gotta hold on tight, Houston. Sometimes it gets funny, though. <laughs> Here, move your head. You're gonna get your head hit. Next one. I don't like to watch this stuff. You don't like to watch this stuff? Yeah. <laughs> that one was easy. Whoa. It's okay. That one was easy. It's okay. Look, it's all right. Are you mad at me? They get a little upset with you, but that's all right. Really? How you had her? Mama's watching you. <laughs> there you go. Hold on tight. Hold on tight, boy. All right, Houston. It's a girl. Which ears it go in? This one. All right. Good job. Ready, little goat? Wow, that was really easy. Not bad at all, huh? That baby likes it up there. It's a good place to lay, huh? In the very back. In the very back? Here. Let's get this one to scooch off. <laughs> it's like a slide. Oh, yep. There's the solid white one. Better grab it. Better grab it. Got her calm, huh? Yep. I think that one, that one was the easiest one. <laughs> you think so? Probably so far. Okay, so you can see I'm just going in order. As the dough's kitted, you know, I, I marked on my, my paper. So now we know number 420 has number green ear tag for 2020. Number one and number two. Number 12 has three and four. 426 has five and six, and then we'll just continue on down the line. Skip's babies are next. They're gonna be number seven and number eight, but uh, I think they know something's up. They're hiding by mama, getting a drink of milk. So uh, go ahead and pick one. Let me give them a minute. Oh, get them. That way you can catch them while they're nursing. They're easy to catch. Mm. No. Bear supervising, wouldn't he? What was he doing? I said Bear was supervising. Yep. Making sure you're being nice to his his goats. Actually, our goats. Yeah, but he thinks he's in charge. All right, girls on the left. Uh-oh. She jerked. Ah! Woo. Ah! It's all right. That might have been the hardest one. All right, move, Bella. Move, Bella. Move. All right, this is the boy. Number eight. This one. Yep. Oh. What are you holding your breath for? I saw you. You said, <gasps> Here, I can't get to its ear. <laughs> oh. Oh. She didn't, it hasn't even touched it. <laughs> He's a little jumpy, isn't he? He knows what's coming. He's like, oh, I saw you do that to my sister. Hey, hang on with this one. Hang on. Golly, we golly. Wanna we want to show you this little boy because it looks exactly like Isaac. So Literally. this little boy right here is already sold. I, I got a text message from a friend of mine named Tyson. He's got a YouTube channel. It's called TCB Farms. You can go check him out. Obviously, he's not going to uh, his new home anytime soon. He's going to be here for, Where is for he? a couple months. He lives in Sulphur. He lives here where we live. So this little boy is gonna go to a new home. We already got, you know, plans lined out for him. He's gonna be a big studly guy, yeah, just like yeah. his daddy Isaac eventually. Maybe he'll have some giant horns too. I, what? Well, when we take him, well, if they come, 
if we take him to his place, then we can bring the girl and we can and so they can see each other until they go away. Oh, you think so? Other. Well, you're going to keep the girl here on the farm. Yeah. All right. So I know I'm probably going to get called out for doing something wrong and it's because I'm not a fan. I'm not really a big fan of these new ear tags that I bought on Amazon. I'm going to go ahead and use them. Um, they'll be just fine, but this one has the number on one side. See, this is number 20. And then the back is blank. Well, typically what I, you would want is the ear tag to hang like this so that you can read it. Well, that puts the sharper point that goes inside here like this sticking forward. Well, I always prefer the sharp point to go to the back side of the ear. And I've got one or two of my old ear tags and they've got the number on both sides. And that way when I put the ear tag in like this, I can put the sharp point to the back side of the ear, bam, just like that. And you don't have that weird part sticking out and you've got a number on the front and the back. So yeah, these Amazon tags are gonna work. They'll be just fine for this year, but I'll go back to a, probably a little better ear tag next year. Eh, it'll work for this year though. So this is why I typically prefer to ear tag my babies as soon as they're born. They're just a little easier to catch. Because once they get up four, five, six days old, um, and they know you're trying to catch them, they can be sneaky. Oh, see there? Look at that. So the big green earrings they've got. <laughs> All right, little white goat. Don't miss, Houston. Uh oh, don't let go, don't let go, don't let go. <laughs> you need some help? <laughs> don't fall on your head, she buddy. Just, she just peed, so it's gonna be wet right there. Well, you better pick her up. <laughs> Dang, dude. You about fell over on your head. <laughs> so here's what I was trying to explain to you. It might make more sense now. Really, Bella? Could you get out of the way? Move, Bella. Move. Move, move, move. Ooh. So it might make more sense. Don't let go. Now you can see that the numbered side's dad, here, dad, dad. and it has to go to the outside of the ear where we can see it. Dad. So when I push the sharp point through, that puts the sharp point being out here. That's, that's, yeah. a, that's a girl's ear. We got a boy. Right? That's what we said, right? Yep. So, we're going to use them, and they'll work, and it's not going to hurt anything. Well, why would you say that? It will hurt them a little bit. I mean the ear tag. It's not going to hurt anything. So when, you put, when I push that ear tag through, that sharp point is still covered. So it's not like it's exposed. It's not going to hurt anything. But to me, that just looks backwards. That part should be inside but then we would be hiding our numbers. So it is what it is, but it'll work. All right, little girl. Are you kidding me? Somebody's peeing right behind you, Houston. Right in the background. Watch your fingers. <coughs> Ow, I know, it's okay. Finally, we're, oh wait, no. We got one more to go. Oh, dang it. Hey, it's, it hasn't even took 30 minutes yet. <laughs> Hey Lambert, you just chilling in the sunshine, enjoying the show? We could put you a matching earring on your left side if you want one. Last one. Look at you being sneaky. Look how fast she is already. Yeah, Mama thought about headbutting you. I saw her. All right, y'all ready? Yes. Yay! Super easy. Go back to mama. Yay! We're done! Now we can go fishing! Look at her. She wanna go straight to mama to go over there and get some get some milk. Get some loving for mama. Hey buddy. Yeah. Thanks for helping me. Yep. I appreciate it. Couldn't do it without you sometimes, you know that? Mm-hmm. So I don't know if you guys noticed this, but I noticed something as we went along. I, did. I noticed the first one or two goats that we ear tagged 
you were kind of like emotional about it like you were kind of sad and as we went along you got used to it because you knew that it wasn't hurting them right yeah. We weren't hurting the babies for more because, than just a couple because seconds. They, because they stopped. Look at Bear. He needs because some attention. most of them stopped screaming. They just screamed a little bit. Yeah. So when you first give them that pinch and poke that hole in there, they'll ear, go. Ah! That's right. But it doesn't bother them for more than a couple seconds. Did you see any goat's ears bleed at all? No. Nobody had any blood. Everything was just nice and calm. Yep. Now I think Bear, he's acting like he wants an ear tag too. You think you can give him one? Uh, no. No, I don't think so either. He just needs some attention, doesn't he? Yeah. Old Bear needs some loving. He's doing a good job taking care of our goats for us. We hear coyotes and things at night and Bear goes off and barks and howls and he does howls. his thing. Yeah, you can hear him out there. He'll go, roo, 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 roo. You're usually asleep, you don't hear it. Look at him. He's such a good dog. All right, so that's all of the ear tagging for today. We've got a couple more does that we'll kid. We'll just ear tag them as they come along. I know for certain that Tyson from OTCB Farms um, is gonna buy Skip's little boy. Um, he's got a channel, you can go check that out. He's already got lots of goats. He's kind of building his farm right now. Dutch is wanting to buy five of our does, which leaves me with only one to hold back. So hopefully we have another doe or two because Houston is for sure keeping Skip's little girl and then I've got one other picked out that I want to keep for sure, probably. So which one? Uh, I'll show you. And it's that the one light, right there. The light brown. No, this one right here, yeah, number the four. Light brown. Well, they were all three brown, so I don't know what your definition of light and dark was. Hmm, yeah, that's what I, I want to keep. That one too. I'm only seven, and I can do a backflip. So serious. Gosh. It's like the most serious trampolinist I know. So you can do a backflip, huh? Yeah. Well, we don't want to see you land on your head, so let's see you land on your feet. I'm probably not going to be able to land it on my feet, but I can land it. Three, two, one. <coughs> Woo! Huh. We got a little whiplash there. Try that again. Oh man, good job, dude. <laughs> Holy moly. It's a good thing we got a screen around that thing. Yep. Ah. Yeah, you'd fall off every time. <laughs> yeah. One more time, let's see one good backflip. Good job, man. I'm telling you what. It is, I'm not kidding, it's 75 degrees outside on January, I'm sorry, February. Uh, well, it's first week of February. I don't know exactly what day this is going to post, but I'm recording it on February 2nd, and it is literally 75 degrees. And uh, that means we need to get this high tunnel open. All the vents are closed, the doors are closed. I bet you it's probably 90 degrees in this greenhouse right now, and... I'm not complaining because the greens are absolutely loving. Ooh. Wow, it's like a heat wave hits you. It's gonna fog the camera lens up when I go in probably. Um, and there's lots of condensation on the roof. But the greens, oh, I'm not kidding. It's like a sauna in here. Ooh. My, my greens are loving it though. Check this out, look at my spinach. This spinach bed, oh man. My wife and I have got so much spinach to juice. We, I mean, we can't even go through all of it. And we got several things in here. Uh, the raised beds. We got some cabbage, some Brussels sprouts, and I think there's some broccoli down here. I don't remember. Ooh, we've just been breaking the leaves off and juicing them. Look at this. Look at this Swiss chard. Uh, yeah, there's lots of weeds in there, but uh, come on now. Hey, it's exactly what I was fixing to call you down here. I want you to pull one of these carrots out of this raised bed over here before we do out of the tubs. So, there's not a whole lot. I had to clean the weeds out. I've been eating, secretively, I've been eating these. Really? Shh, don't tell Houston. I've been eating these carrots when Houston wasn't around. Really? So, Houston, there's not a lot of carrots here, but hey, I bet you that's a big one right there. Let's pull it and see what you get. Pull it out, pull it out, pull it out. Oh my gosh, it's a butt. <laughs> It, hey, it definitely looks like somebody with a set of legs. Yeah. 
All right, let's see if we can get one more here. Let's see if there's any getting very big in your uh, tubs here. Here, I'm gonna pick out of this one some this. They're kind of thick. Here, let me. Ooh, look at there. We're getting some carrots for sure. Yep. You want to clean one off and eat one? Yeah. What does it taste like? A carrot. Oh, that's good. I'm glad it tastes like a carrot. Are they good and sweet? Yeah. There's nothing like pulling a fresh carrot out of the ground and eating it, huh? I know. So these warmer temperatures, these warmer days are really going to have me thinking gardening season. Um, it's going to have me wanting to spend some time in the greenhouse. <sighs> Unfortunately, it's going to be, it was 70 yesterday, 75 today. In two days, the high is 34 degrees and a 90% chance of rain. So uh, winter is not over. Winter is nowhere close to being over. But if you can kind of tell, it is starting to green up. A lot of the, the winter cool season grasses are, are enjoying this warm weather. And we're starting to get some little small grass sprouts popping up. And that dang punks the tawny field. You know, he's the groundhog. That's the one that's supposed to come up out of the ground. And if he sees his shadow, we get six more weeks of winter. And if he doesn't see his shadow, then we're good to go. It's spring. Well, he didn't see a shadow the other day, so, I mean, spring's almost here. You can be able to eat all that carrot. So spring's not quite here, but it's awful close. And kidding, we're right in the middle of kidding season. You guys seem to be really enjoying the goat videos, so we will try to keep pumping out some goat content. Bella's creeping in here. Everybody keeps saying, who's that brown dog? Um, Bella. Bella, that's our couch protector everybody knows who Bella is but uh, before we end this I just want to say one more time uh, a huge thanks to Harry's for sponsoring today's video if you're looking for a, a good place to go get a good razor you can sign up with them they'll do a subscription or you can do a one-time purchase however you want to do it but be sure to check out the link in the description box down below or go to harrys.com arms and get started for just three bucks so check them out what do you got to lose it's three bucks you gonna end this video or are you gonna keep munching on a carrot? No. I forgot to tell you this, but y'all might not get to see it. We're gonna go fishing at the dock. So we might video a little bit, but not much. Why don't you just wrap this video up for us? So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.